The outdoor industry has come a long way. It used to be very male dominated, very focused on the great big epic adventures, um, very much my focus on getting from A to B. And I think that world is changing now. We're seeing a lot more females being focused on, but I think there's still a role for the everyday adventurer to be celebrated and focused on more. And that's partly why I think Adventure Queens needs to exist. We founded Adventure Queens uh, almost two years ago. Uh, it's a UK-based non-for-profit community. We provide uh, information, tips and advice with the aim to help delicately smash down barriers that prevent women from getting outdoors and heading off on adventures. It's a space for people to connect with like-minded women, uh, to be able to go off on adventures together, but also to be able to share and support and celebrate each other as well. The women in the community, um, they do a complete variety of, uh, of outdoor adventures. Uh, so we've had people that have cycled from London to Mongolia, done 30 incredible challenges for their 30th birthday year, from running marathons to doing Ironmans to water sports, through to people that are going wild swimming for the first time and going hiking for the first time. So it to totally ranges. We're starting to celebrate more and more women, and I think there's a mixture of adventures. So, those that are doing, you know, great big trips, kind of like historically that males have done, but I think also just a, a variety of adventure, different shapes and sizes. You don't have to be an athlete to get out and do stuff. And I think it's really important for everyone to remember that it's their own personal journey. 